you can see, we're such finely tuned athletes that we caught up with two other groups. Which in my eyes is very impressive as these groups are not finely tuned athletes as much. Because look at the way they're walking, they're tired already. Especially that one on the right lip. But, you know, they have, they have to share the hills with someone that's got the easy laces so we're going to we're just gonna walk past them. Disaster has struck. We are too, too good at it apparently. We're so ahead of time. We have to stop and let the stragglers pass. So, so yeah. We can have a little bit of We're back on the road, 20 minutes later. No doubt we'll be catching them soon. <laughs> yeah. Fake laugh for the win. I ate a whisper, bag's a lot lighter now. Donald ate some mangoes, bag's a lot lighter now. <laughs> <laughs> Two eager if I say so myself. And I love nature. Ross Miller, nature man. And they would have danced the whole night through. For the whole night through. It's raining. Raining everywhere. Rain right, rain left, rain up. Rain down somehow. <laughs> we don't know which way rain can't come from. Oh, it's gonna rain. So we've reached destination lunch. We've met some some of our fellow deer beers here. Give us a wave, fellow deer beers. Come on, give us a wave. There we go. Cool. Hey, Donald! Uh, where is he? <laughs> what? <laughs> There's Donald down there, about to fall in, if only. Remember Donald today? Yeah. Have this recording to remember him by. I just ate six baby bells in quick succession, now I feel sick. <laughs> mm. This is a true spectacle. We have a perfect rainbow. I love perfect rainbows. Go heading for Glen Feshi. 8.0 megapixels. Mm. Welcome to relocation, relocation, location, location, relocation, location, location, relocation. We have a lovely little settlement here. Nice and porch. All for a nice, spacious, cheap, 350 
thousand pounds. If you come around here in the back garden, you've got a lovely little shed. It's called the Odyssey. As you can see, the Odyssey Micro Three Vanco. Spacious two, spacious two room apartment. Possibly for couples. Welcome to Glen Fashion Botty. <laughs> Lovely. So Ross, was was it a good meal? Was it, was it? Oh, it was delicious, Alistair. You know, I just ate away. Got what's our sauce, Mask Mascarpone <laughs> with a nice pasta with a pork in the middle. I believe it. Pork sausage. Ah, pork. pork. Nice. Sounds tasty. Yes, I know. Day two, and I'm currently having bacon rolls. Well, we are anyway. Thanks, cooked by our lovely chef, Senor Sock Hat. And we're very tired. My hair's a mess. So I'm just gonna keep this hat on the day, and then hopefully we'll be out of here in time. It was raining last night. It was very rainy, terrible, and windy. So it wasn't the best. Yet again, we're half an hour early. Half an hour early. So we can't leave for another half an hour, so we've got half an hour of nothingness. Everyone else is getting ready to leave after the night of serenity and peace. And we're going to make the most of this peaceful time with nature. Walking and sleeping in the wild, and now it's time to venture home on the soil of the earth. Trust. We dance the night through.
much you can go. If I can pronounce kilometer correctly. We just or take a grip. We're heading in that direction there. And I'm getting quite emotional, you know, because it's been such an, an enjoyable experience to be with four of my closest friends. And I would like to thank Alistair as well, the cameraman. Turn the camera around, Alistair. Come on. He has been there the whole way <laughs> videoing me. But round of applause, everyone. We've done it. Unless we break our legs in the next leg. Let's go. Come on. Let's yeah. go. To Donald. Yeah. Donald. To Kieran. To Robert. Oh, really. And to me, the dominant male. I thought you were being nice though.